medical science is one of humanity's greatest accomplishments. Through advances in modern medicine, some diseases which were once death sentences now have cures, and some of them are simple. But this isn't the case for all diseases. Unfortunately, medical science still has a lot of work to do. Let's take a look at five of the most notorious diseases that don't yet have cures. It wouldn't be right to try to rank these by severity, so for simplicity's sake, we'll go down the list alphabetically. At the top of our list is AIDS. Someone can only be diagnosed with AIDS if they have first been diagnosed with HIV, which is a disease that can destroy one's immune system. Once their HIV has progressed to the point where it begins to kill off a significant amount of immune cells, they can be diagnosed with AIDS. The symptoms can take over a decade to manifest in some people, and modern antiretroviral drugs have become sophisticated enough to keep HIV at bay, hopefully delaying or preventing the advancement to AIDS. Until early 2019, only one person had been cured of HIV. Now, a second person has been cured. Both patients received stem cell transplants that led to their bodies being cured of AIDS. Doctors do not yet feel comfortable strictly calling this a cure for the disease, however, so more research needs to be done. Alzheimer's disease is a neurodegenerative disease that affects 5.8 million people in the United States alone. The vast majority of patients are above the age of 65. With Alzheimer's, your brain is affected by the buildup of amyloid plaques between neurons, as well as neurofibrillary tangles. These tangles and plaques are insoluble and lead to problems with memory, cognitive abilities, and behavior, ultimately leading to the diagnosis of dementia. Because of this, Alzheimer's is often ranked between the sixth and third leading causes of death in the United States. Ebola often makes the news when an outbreak occurs, and for good reason. The disease is highly contagious. Despite what many people believe, Ebola is not waterborne or airborne. That being said, it can spread rapidly through direct contact with infected people. Patients with Ebola will experience fevers, intense headaches, aches all over, fatigue, and other unpleasant symptoms. There is not yet a cure for Ebola, but these symptoms can be treated, and it's best to get treatment as soon as possible because Ebola has a case fatality rate of 90%. Parkinson's disease is a disorder that affects your nervous system. Its symptoms progressively get worse over time, often starting as a slight tremor in one hand. Over time, these tremors can spread and become much worse, leading to the stiffening of body parts, restricted movement, and slurred speech. Research has shown that some genetic factors can lead to an increased risk of Parkinson's, but the direct cause of the disease is still not known. There is not yet a cure for Parkinson's, but treatments can vary depending on severity. In some cases, medication will be prescribed to help mitigate the symptoms, while some patients undergo brain surgery in an effort to regulate brain activity to combat symptoms. Schizophrenia is one of the most serious and debilitating mental health disorders. Patients with schizophrenia often experience vivid hallucinations, which can lead to delusional perceptions of reality. They can also experience movement disorders and troubles processing emotions. Researchers believe that certain genetic factors can increase the risk of schizophrenia, which would explain why it often runs in families, but they do not believe a single gene is responsible for the disorder. As such, it isn't possible for doctors to predict who will develop schizophrenia. Antipsychotics can be administered to help mitigate the symptoms, but many patients require focused, specialized care throughout their lives.